Dozens of damaged high-rise buildings and private houses, burned apartments, wrecked cars and damaged power lines. These are the results of the night shelling of Slavyansk. Two powerful explosions in the middle of the night. This is how the local residents recall the night bombing of a residential neighborhood in the city. After one o'clock in the morning, there was a big explosion. All the windows flew out. We ran out right away. We saw that the barn was on fire and immediately started carrying water and putting it out. We survived because we hid in an apartment vestibule. Tell me, are these marks on the fence the consequences of the night bombardment? Yeah, that's all that happened last night. Anatoly lives in the private sector. He and his wife were at home at the moment of the attack. The man says he was very shocked. He only remembers how he found himself in the basement after the explosion. I remember bright flashes and then sparks flew. According to preliminary information from local authorities, more than two dozen residential apartment buildings and private houses were affected. Five more grocery stores and one of the city schools were left without windows. Several districts of the city were affected. The damage is now being specified. Cluster bombs were allegedly used. Fortunately, no casualties were reported. Utility services are working at the site of the shelling. Power lines are planned to be restored soon. A mass evacuation continues in the city. About 70,000 people have already left the once 100,000 city. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Olena Hramova, UATV News.